Good morning, everyone. In sports, college hoops last night at Kimball Arena, a battle of initials. UNCA hoping to snap a five-game losing streak against USC Upstate. Dogs have lost five in a row, but that fifth loss a doozy. They could have beaten NC State at this one, though, looked like they had an NC State hangover. Didn't play well early, but then Keith Hornsby gets him going with the jump shot there. He had eight. It's eight to five dogs. The big guy in the middle, DJ Cunningham, boy, he's really important to that offense. Watch him battle there. He missed all last year with a knee injury, but looking good there. Ten points for him. They're up three. They start pulling away towards the end of the half. Trip Meyer, three and the foul, a four-point play. UNCA up 32 to 19 at the half of the second half. Torrey Craig explodes. He scores 27. They make a couple of free throws late, and unbelievably, they rally to beat UNCA at Kimmel, 73-71. Mars Hill uses a 20-0 run to beat Montreat, 92-85. Kevin Haynes led the way with 23 points. LaBrice Adams, 35 for the Cavs, who dropped to 2-5. Murphy High yesterday, they said good luck and goodbye to the Murphy High Bulldogs as they get ready to go to Carter-Finley Stadium to play for the 1A state championship Saturday morning against Plymouth. They'll play at 11 a.m. We'll be there to follow them as well. But you can see everybody's fired up and ready. Swain makes a trek on Friday and later today. We'll be there at the school as their fans and families will see them off as well. Maroon Devils take on Southwest Onslow. That'll be at 3 o'clock Saturday. The experience gained by winning titles last year has made really both clubs even tougher this year. They always feel they can win and they really have just enjoyed the journey this season. Both coaches think these intangibles really make their clubs tough to beat and give them a good chance to go back to back. Yeah, these kids, they have no quit, and that's all them. You know, they, they, they find a way to win, and, and that's that's who they are, you know, and that's what makes them so good about what they are is, you know, you know, at any time in a ball game, they can explode there for those 21, 28 points and that stuff. So, you know, they always feel like they're in it. We're really enjoying it. Uh, as, as I was telling you earlier, I don't think the boys even realize that, uh, you know, that what the, what – they've accomplished so maybe it's after over which is good we'd like to try to keep them in the moment and uh, try to win another one good luck to both we'll be in raleigh with both and have highlights and reaction for you at six o'clock and also at 11.